Okay, good evening class 7. Guys, please open your literature book now. We are doing this uh, chapter. Uh, we already finished loading this poem. Uh, chapter 9, The Village Blacksmith. Right, blacksmith who used to make utensils, ornaments uh, or weapons for us. Okay, so... Uh, I hope you understand the poem. Let's do some objectives over here. Okay, we'll do tick mark, okay? Okay, tick mark. Tick the right option. His brown, eh, sorry, his brows, that means eyebrow, is wet with what? Weak. Yes. Okay, number two. His brows is wet with. It's uh, it's written sweet, but it is not sweet. Okay, it, it's it's it is sweat, sweat pasina. Okay. This one. Okay. Number three is the smith. The smith's hands were. What? The smith's hands were large and shiny. Children love to see the what? Framing forts. Okay, so I don't already done this one. Okay, so pay attention, please. Complete the lines of the poem. His brows is wet with honest sweet. So, sorry, sweat. Okay. And looks the whole world in the face. You can hear his billows blow. Look in at the open door. If you don't understand my handwriting, you can search from the... Uh, from the poem and write it down understood so question answer let's do question answers question number one is describe the blacksmith's physical appearance first you need to write first you need to write question okay uh, uh, sorry chapter name class work and date Understood? Don't forget to write date, chapter name, and don't forget to write question. Sorry, C. Answer the following question. And copy question number one. What is question number one? Is describe the blacksmith's physical appearance. Answer is over here. The poet describe. Okay, the poet describe the blacksmith. As a large, strong man with long black hair and a tan face. Okay? Number one is that. If you don't understand my handwriting, let me know. Okay? Question number two is, when does the blacksmith work in the smithy? Smithy means the place where they used to work okay uh maybe that uh kind of shop they used to make their stuffs and all okay question number answer number two is the blacksmith works in the smithy from morning till evening week in and week out just give give comma over you okay morning till evening comma week in and week out okay question number three why do children were children look in at the open door because they love the the spark uh, they love the spark in a forging, uh, in a flaming forge, right? 
okay answer number three is is sorry answer number three is the children looks in at the open door because they love to see the flaming it is in uh, flaming okay okay flaming forge okay flaming forge just give a comma give a comma and love to hear the bellows b e l l o w s bellows roar and to run after the run after to catch the sparks that fly okay question number 4 how does the poet compare him to the sexton sexton is a metal the poet compare the measured and show beat of the village blacksmith's hammer as he proud the metal in his smithy to a six stone ringing the village bell i make it very simple okay very simple i just add some of my own words that you can learn properly so question number 5 at i just added myself who was the poet henry w longfellow okay so this is the question answer these are the question answer you have to write okay you need to write so anything regarding this chapter any problem regarding this chapter please let me know you have my number you can text me you can say you can call okay anything and for homework is this this one is your homework this one is also and this one is also try to do all the practicals actually okay g also h also and this one the main important thing write a short paragraph on black smith in space given below you have to write your own words in your own words write down a paragraph uh about um blacksmith okay about blacksmith do whatever you want search google you search books everything but write it down and do it better okay and send it to me so this much for today uh homework you already know and this all this do copy in uh english too okay so till then goodbye